Hey, do you folks? So, um, my SLR had a malfunction and all this cool build footage has been completely lost on this specific item and I am absolutely gutted. Um, the reason why I'm gutted is because I was showing off these awesome new radio motors. These are the 6385 version and they're mounted on the next generation of radio motor mounts and I had a walkthrough video of how they're installed um, and the cool features of it and poof it's all gone. So I'm just going to use this um, supplementary video just to highlight some of the key components of these motors of the motor mounts and this specific build that will be shipped next week out to its uh, new happy owner. So these motors, they are the next iteration of, I guess, the re of what Reacher are doing. And it's important to understand that uh, these motors have been developed by Reacher in assistance with the team at Radium. And uh, just because you see these motors all over the place, they're not all the same. They're all subtly, uh, they have subtle changes along the way. So if you I'll include a link to these specific motors, the version of them and some of the key changes, I was reading through the spec sheet. One of the things that jumped out at me was that they have curved magnets um, as opposed to just thin rectangular strips. And there's something about, uh, because they're curved, they, uh, you get more efficiency, more range and more power as well. I personally noticed, as soon as I pulled out the driveway, I let go of the throttle um, there was significantly less rolling resistance than I've experienced in other uh, motors from Flipsky and Maytech as well. So it was just one thing that I picked up on right away. Um, but you can get the full tech specs from the Radium site, and I'll put a link to that below. And they look pretty sick too. Um, you got the Radium Red uh, phase wise on there, and they got their custom logo on there as well. These motor mounts, so so yeah, so take a look at the specs of those motors. The motor mounts themselves, I am gutted that I don't have that walkthrough video, but I'll quickly give you an overview anyway. The key changes between these mounts and the prior generation are that these are four piece mounts, there's no grub screws, there's only three screws that bolt all the way through, and they hold the four piece motor mount together. So uh, rather than having a two piece mount, one uh, for the truck and the shaft, the actual motor mount piece. These have an inner ring and an outer ring. And one of those rings has a thread. So what happens is three bolts go in through one side the th and lock onto that thread and they clamp down. And as you clamp down, you insert two wedges inside of the motor mount. And what happens is as you're applying clamping force, those wedges dig into the truck and once they have dug in, there is no moving those mounts ever again once it's locked in. You don't even have to use Loctite because they come with uh, spring washers as well. Who would have thought, right? So I put Loctite on there anyway, just OCD. Um, so, so that was a pretty cool three bolts holding it all together and they compress down. Um, which is really cool. So no more grub screws with those little tab inserts. A really cool mechanism. They work superbly well. What I did like about them is that because of the way you uh, put them together, you can slide them across and get the perfect placement and they, they're not wobbling around as you're doing it. They, they do have some firmness. I don't want to say firmness across the shaft. Jesus Christ. But um, there's some firmness there. Um, so that was a highlight for me. Uh, the ease of use, ease of install. Uh, bang on. And um, whenever I mount motors, I always like to have that uh, the motor shaft sitting flush on the pulley and then move the motor mount according to, to get the right distance. Um, I don't know the footage. Sorry folks, just imagine in your mind that there's some cool video that went along with it. So yeah, so we talked about the motors, their development, the new motor mounts, they are sweet as. We'll do a zoom in on those as well. And that's rocking my new PSC enclosure. So um, I'll, I'll put another link to the walkthrough of that. So it's full stainless steel base and top. 
and it is rock solid. One thing you noticed, one, one thing you would have noticed is this cool um, cover that I've got. So I've been testing different covers from neoprene um, to nylon, but I've settled on this hard wearing water resistant canvas. It's not like a pelly case needs any water resistant properties anyway. Although you've got plugs on the back here, so having something to cover those plugs is helpful. But the other cool thing is I want, do want to get to putting some a sneak peek of some cool artwork. I do want to get to printing some cool artwork and using this real estate that's predominantly left vacant and void of any um, creativity from an artistic perspective. Um, so I'm pulling this build. This is a radium build, but I've debadged it. There's no um, logo, my uh, ZFG logo or anything on there. So, so yeah, oh, I think it's nice, clean. It just focuses on the board itself, uh, which is the MBSDW um, Pro 97. So let's hear what the motors have to say about it. So we just lift this up, plug it in. We can tuck that away. All right, let's move the bench in a little closer. And let's hear the boy scream. That's pretty cool, right? Um, so, they're running at uh, 90 amp each motor and 60 battery amp as well. So 90 amp on the motor, 60 on the battery, and they perform superbly well. One of the tests I did, I did do a hip test uh, today, but one of the tests I did do was a, uh, a grass test where uh, just riding on um, Council just recently cut a whole uh, area that slashed grass and it was so soft and loamy. The soil was a bit wet as well, so it was uh, boggy. And normally um, on eight inch wheels, if you're running 63, 74s, you, you throttle up, you get nothing. You just keep sinking, There's, uh, it, it's awful. Um, these things are just torque monsters. There was no bogging out whatsoever. It just maintained uh, the speed, um, and it, it pulled away easy um, and the highlight was that the motors stayed around that 60 degree range as well they didn't overheat and that was running at 90 amp uh, if that had been my main text uh, I, I, I would have been thrown off because it would have got an ABS current overflow or an overheat error so um, these um, kick butt today uh, just quietly between us so, so yeah, so that was uh, quite chuffed with the performance of that. In general, the build is the build, you know, 12 s 6 p 4 2 a um, uh, Molly cell. So, so yeah, so massive, the, the highlight for this is the, the radium componentry um, and the performance that these components add to this build. Um, and um, I've got a whole bunch of uh, components they're ready to go for uh, hopefully some future uh, builds as well so um, yeah I'm looking forward to doing more work in this space with this um, running gear because I think it's rock solid it's where I want to head to yo so I've cut myself off before I went on a um, useless rant so uh, if anything you're welcome I did promise that I was going to zoom in closer to these motor mounts. So when I was editing the video, I realized I didn't do that. So I want to be a man of my words uh, and get um, some cool uh, close-ups of the undercarriage rear end of this specific build. So you've heard the motors, you're going to get a close-up of the mounts and the motors. And in 24 hours time, I went from a nice clean workshop to all hell breaking loose. That's how shit rolls, right? So. I'm going to pan, zoom the camera in, and we're going to get a nice clean look, and we'll do a bit of a point and see, right? So I'm just going to wing it. So let's zoom in and let's see this stuff first hand. Okay, let's go. Nice and close, 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 close. Let's drag this sucker down. 
Oop, yep, that's good. Oh, zoom in, right, right there. Oh, that is awesome, look at that. Right, so now you are looking at the radio motor mount and the outer um, component. So that is the threaded component and you'll see that there's one, two, um, and three threads right there. I don't want to use that as a pointer. I don't want to use that as a pointer. I will use this as a pointer. All right, so three, one, two, three, and that's the threaded component. So it looks really clean, really nice finish. And what you're also going to see is I'm going to zoom in to get an even closer look. You see this little um, metal bit right there? It's inside. That's the wedge, right? So that wedge, it's like on a 45 degree angle, maybe a bit less. And, uh, it, and, and, and the middle section, which I'm gonna zoom in of right here, I've gotta watch the camera. Um, and we're gonna zoom across right there. There you go. So that's from another view. You'll see that they're the bolts that you thread down and you can still see that tab in the middle there. So that, um, that wedge, that's the back side of the wedge. And as you tension those three screws down, that clamps together and it holds the entire motor mount in place. And it's a really cool way of making that motor mount absolutely secure so it never moves again. And I'll tell you what, I needed to adjust these mounts a little bit and move them across. I took that off and I took the shaft off as well and the outer ring. That center piece, because they're four pieces, right? That center piece stayed in place with those wedges in there. Once this clamps down, those wedges embed themselves and, and it, 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 it's like uh, this huge force and they, they don't move. There is absolutely no movement. There's a bit of dirt there because I took that for a ride. So I'm a man of my words. I wanted to zoom in um, and show you what that looks like. And then we'll get a nice clean rear shot right there. Um, maybe we go a bit lower. So beautiful, right? So cool. Um, one of the better looking um, motors. And, and I think Bill's, I mean, look, look how nice and neat that looks. And we, we can zoom up, we can get a nice cable routing in the back there. So all up, that's come out pretty good. Um, so yeah, quietly chuffed with this build. There's the close-up of the radio motor mounts. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, sorry, it, uh, a post edit, but you know, uh, things happen. People roll up with broken stuff and they want stuff fixed. And then I've got to repair my own stuff and that, oh my God, I, I don't want to start thinking about working on that. But I'll just focus on these two guys right now. Um, so yeah, I'll kneel down here. Thanks for tuning in. All right, this is the extra bit. Um, you're welcome because I cut myself off, but this is my official sign up. So thanks, we'll catch you soon. Cheers.